Hello, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello, I'm Kim. Thanks for joining in. Today I have a Primark haul video. Okay, let's just backtrack a little bit. My last Primark haul was called Primark haul fail, didn't like anything, I uh, hated it, I'm not going to go back until at least Christmas, that's what I said. I said I wasn't going to go back until Christmas, you know, have a look for Christmas shopping and then uh, that's it really because I'm just not loving Primark. Okay, so that's what I said. Here's what I did. I needed some stuff, okay. I needed some bits of the house. I needed some kid stuff. And the best place for it was Primark. So I thought, I'm just gonna go super casual, you know, just go in, go to what I want, get the stuff and go, okay. That was the plan, but I'm only human, okay. Um, a shopaholic human. And I saw some boots and then that was just, yeah. That was it. So the stuff that I've got is actually, there's no like trending now stuff. So that was last time I tried on like trending now, this is fashion, try this on kind of stuff. This time I went for more basic things that I actually needed in my wardrobe and some boots. But yeah, I, I feel like they're good purchases, okay? They're not like fashion-y that might fit, might not. Anyway, shut up, I've done my justification. Let's get on with the Primark haul. Okay, Oosh, bag number one. It's a paper bag. The next bag is one of those pound reusable ones, so it gets even bigger. If you're a regular, you may have noticed I'm in my bedroom today. That's because the kids are ah, ah, downstairs, really loud, and the sun was like in my retinas, and I thought, it's not good. Low winter sun is never good, but it is, but not for filming. Anyway, that's inside the bag. It's a bit like Lucky Dip because you know when you leave shopping for a few days in the bag and you go back to it and you forget what's in there? <sighs> Double level excitement. First level when you bought it, second level when you've forgotten and you re-shop. First of all, we have pyjamas. They are for Christmas but Effie saw them like quickly so I was like they're nothing they're, they're for they're for someone else so maybe may not be I don't know see what I can get away with but they are unicorn gym jams I do like the boring kid stuff and house stuff first okay then we get on to the fashion so these are five pounds and yeah it's got rainbows on the bottom unicorn on the top and it's like shiny stuff yeah I don't know yeah if it's gonna wash well who knows but she'll love that she sort of loved it, she saw it. And then another pair of pyjamas. It's a pack of two, open because she's wearing a pair already because she's just growing so fast. This is a t-shirt and leggings set, two of, in the sale from 10 down to five. It's that sort of thing I needed. Okay. And then I needed a couple of bath mats. Yeah, I just really like the colours of this. Cream and, or is it white? Creamy white. It will be cream soon if it is white, let's face it. So it's cream and grey, nice and soft. I think I'd like a scarf in this. Yeah, it doubles up as a scarf. <laughs> Can you imagine? A snood. Doubles up as a snood, see? Sally shopping right here. Six pounds, I've got two of them. Labels, gift tag labels. And then it's got letters as stickers, so you can sticky instead of write. One pound. I saw these. Christmas again. Stocking filler. Bar fizzer. Two off for the kids. Pound each. Oh, they look really fun, really colourful. They'll love them. Absolutely love them. And I got some earrings. Christmas earrings. Got these for my nieces. There we go. Pack two. They're both the same. And it's got all like... Christmassy lovely thing so I thought I'm gonna give it to them early so they can wear them in December and they were three pounds each right so my essentials that I went in for pajamas and a bath mat that's it that is it so that's what I could have come out with let's see what else there is <coughs> ah yes see I'm on a health kick at the moment so lifting heavy bags is a good thing isn't it you know build some muscle I carry on with earrings. I got two packs of hoops. Now I nearly bought four packs, so I was good buying two. Okay, there's just a lot of little hoop packs that were quite cute. I was like, oh no, which ones do I go for? But I picked these ones. 
and they're focusing. It's got ones with little moons on, ones with just gemmy bits on, just loads of little hoops. And I love little hoops, you know, like little hoops hooping up the ears. So I've got that one and then that one. So these are quite plain, these ones, and then these ones are a bit more blingy. And they were two pounds each. We'll do beauty and then we'll do fashion. Fashion. The sun's starting to move around, so in a minute I'll be a beaming sunbeam. Just bear with. So I'm going to try the double coverage matte foundation because it's meant to be like double wear. I saw a review on um, I just, Miss Budget Beauty and she reviewed this and said it's pretty much similar to double wear and I was like well I'll be trying that then because I do like double wear, the Estee Lauder double wear. Let's just try it on my hand. It's actually quite light, I like that. But it is matte, so, oh, oh. Always do a smell test with foundation. Passes the smell test. But yeah, I'm liking the texture of that. And it says it's a matte finish, but it doesn't look cakey matte. Okay, it, hopefully there'll be good times with this. This was five pounds and I picked the color Cool Sand. There's one below this one for lighter. Um, so this was number two, I think. Oh, it's got SPF in it, SPF 15. Then I picked this up, Jenna Frooms. I don't know who Jenna Frooms is, maybe I should, should I know? Jenna Frooms Glow Priming Serum. Okay, the kid's going crazy downstairs. It's like a gold highlighter, like little drops. So, you know on YouTube, you know YouTube, they like drip it on their face like that, like, ah, oh, putting oil on my face. I'm gonna do that with this. That's what I thought when I saw it. But actually what I really thought was, if this is too matte, I can mix you in a bit of this and just, you know, have a bit of experiment. And this one was four pounds. They had like a pinkier one as well, I think. Full slash queen I am. This one is a dupe, well, it looks like a dupe of the um, Too Faced one that I bought. I think it was Too Faced when I went on holiday. I picked one up from Sephora. Basically the packaging looks the same to me. But I needed another mascara and I looked at the eye the eye indicator and I thought I want an eye like that so I'm gonna try it three pounds right fashion I'll start with boots <sighs> okay so I wanted a flat pair of boots okay and I was like oh Chelsea boot or boot I don't really know mm -mm -mm. but I do like a hiker boot I don't know why I just loving lace life at the moment so I saw these they're black lace up biker hiker hiker boot yes they, what I really like about them is that it's quite plain and the metally bits are you know it's not like loads going on but it's just enough it's like a dark metal I've already ripped off the label and worn these so these are definitely a keeper these are forever forever mine they're really comfortable they look great with my black jeans I just love them I just love them and I feel like I'm healthy as well because I'm wearing a hiker boot doesn't matter if I'm only like walking to the car and back, I'm hiking in these. So I had a dream about these last night um, and I dreamt that someone complimented me on them. That's a sign, isn't it? If you have a dream about it and someone says, they're lovely, they're the best boots I've ever seen. That's a sign that you did a good thing. So yeah, I did a good thing. And these were 16 pounds. Then I had the dilemma, okay? So I'll show you the dilemma. This was the dilemma. I couldn't decide what colour. I stood there for ages going, black or camel, black or camel, like this, <laughs> black or camel, what do I do? This is such a dilemma. And I was with my mum and I was kind of zoned out and I was staring. And in my mind, I was wearing outfits. And I was like, but the black would go with so many things. And so would the camel, the creamy camel, that, that would go with so many things. What do I do in this situation? And I tell you what you do in this situation. If you ever have this problem, Okay, this is what you do, you buy both. You buy both, you take them home, and then you have, you've got less panic time. In the shop, the panic levels go up. You're like, what if I make the wrong decision and I take the black home and all I can think about when I get home is the cream, what, ah! I just can't be dealing with that. So you buy both, and you go home, and you're relaxed at home, and it's all chilled out, and you go, do I want the cream, or do I want the black? You end up keeping both anyway. <laughs> But, you know, you go through the process, sometimes things go back. On this occasion, I feel like I love them so much, I'm keeping both. I am. 
it's better than buying a pair of Timberlands anyway, isn't it? Because they're like loads. And these are uh, £16 each. So I bought the cream as well. Now the creamy ones have like more of a silver tone to it. I'm a bit scared because if I get something on it, because it's like a softy faux suede material, it, it, yeah, there's potential there. But because it is some sort of material, whatever, I probably can get stains off. But I'm loving it. So that was the bad thing. Oh no, actually, there's another bad thing. <laughs> there is. This is bad. Where is it? Let's do it now. The other one's elasticated on. <clears throat> Where is it? It's at the bottom. Oh my god! You're out. So it's an over the thigh boot. If you watched my boot and coat clear outy thing, this was not on the shopping list. Neither was the cream to be fair, but that's, yeah, we've moved on from that. But I can really see these working in my wardrobe because they're flat. I have hardly any flat boots. So these are flat, so sensible, okay. It has a silver bit around it, which is nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> just like totally justifying this. It's like a suede kind of material. It has an elasticated bit at the back so you can tighten it. And it has a zip as well, so you can actually get the sodden thing on. Yes. Now, this is a maybe. Okay, this isn't a definite keeper. I'm going to try it with stuff in my wardrobe and decide if they're going to stay. Decide if there's a place in my wardrobe for these. These were £18. When I put this on, my mum was like, mm, mm, not sure about them. And then this woman was like, I love them. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. I love them. I was like, out the way mother I am listening to that woman I've never met before and I'm just gonna buy them and that's what I did you're gonna have to watch my video in a few weeks time of where I go what have I kept kind of video next up we have a hoodie black standard goes with loads I really like the leather jacket with a hood out the back you know like I'm wearing a leather jacket but I'm cool because I've got a hoodie on underneath kind of vibe and it would go with the boots, go with like, yeah, that kind of, yeah. And I didn't have a black, I only had a pink hoodie. I mean, ugh, who am I? Who am I if I didn't have a black hoodie? This was seven pounds. I went for a size small, which is a 10 to 12. So I think that's gonna be a good size. And then to carry on with my camel obsession, I went and got the camel one to do the same thing. And here it is. And that was seven pounds as well. Both of these have the big long pocket thing, so you can, do the whole, woo, my hand's going in here and it's coming out there. Trick with the kids, you know, the one that they're really sick of, that trick. And then I'm getting all shades of camel because this is like a gray kind of camel, mink. Um, what do they call it? Ecru? Fuck's ecru. For whatever that is, this one isn't. It's like a different kind of camel. It's more like a classic camel. What I liked about this is it's got black bits on the end of the tassels just to, I don't know, just liked it. This one hasn't got pockets. This one was a 2XS. I mean, right, so 2XS translates to a size 4 to 6. I mean, really, really, I know like the whole oversized vibe thing, but I mean, come on. I like the way it's longer at the back as well. See? There we go. Longer at the back, so it kind of hides your bum a bit, which I'm loving. I could wear leggings with that. Then I've got this. So I do have a lightweight knit like this, but shorter sleeve. And I saw this one, I thought, yes, I need a longer sleeve one for when it's a bit colder. And this one was £8. I'm going to hold it back a bit. Is this longer at the back as well, or is it just a crap hanger? No, it is. Longer at the back as well. Good old bum hiding there. So look, all shades here. Fifty Shades of Camel. It's a new book out. That's the book I'm going to write. Fifty Shades of Camel. And then this one. Again, 2XS. This is 2XS. Size 4. I mean, really? Actually, it does No, no, it should be fine. It's like a ribbed black knit. And it has um, a seam down the front. Again, I think it's slightly longer at the back. I don't know if it's all meant to be like that, if it's just gone wrong, but if it's gone wrong, I like it. 
So I've gone for basic knits because I said that in my last video that I needed basic knits because I didn't have any. So that's what I've got. And then a black scarf. I'm going plain on the scarf. So now I've got a black, I've got a grey and I've got a camel and I've got a pink. Okay, so I've got all the shades that I need for scarfing and this was five pounds. There we go. So I haven't tried on any of the tops because I've spent so long looking, I was like, oh my God, I need to go because my car's gonna to be towed away if I carry on like this. So I've got it all here, I'm gonna try it on and then in a few weeks time when I do my, well, if you're new, you won't know, but I've started doing a thing where I do hauls all month and then at the end of the month, I do like a wall, what I actually kept video and how I'm styling it with stuff that's currently in my wardrobe. So you're gonna to have to subscribe so that you know when that video is coming and when that video comes you can watch it and see what I kept and see what actually works. I'm actually quite pleased with that haul. I know I shouldn't be. I know like last time I was like nothing fits and actually I don't know this might not fit who knows but I've got a good feeling about this Fifty Shades of Camel. Yeah I do. Tonal. Tonal is my word for this season. Right that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it please do hit that subscribe button, it helps out my channel massively, as is liking, as is liking, so is liking, so like it, share it with your friends, say oh my god this Primark haul is the best one I've ever seen, you must watch it, that kind of thing, and I'll see you in the next video, bye!